Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be unboxing this Tamiya TTO2 Type SRX chassis kit. And this is actually a recreation of the unboxing that I did live on stream. Uh, unfortunately, the video quality and also the audio quality just wasn't up to par. And the standard of type of video that I want to put out, especially for an unboxing video and a build series. So I decided to put everything back in the box and um, show you the contents again. So let's not waste any time and get into it. All right, first thing we have here is the urethane bumper. Go ahead and take these out again. This is going to be the B tree. I see the skid plate and the. Uh, this is the top. This is the bottom of the front bumper holder. I see some uh, upper arms that we're probably probably not going to use. These are the uh, standard uh, TTO2 variant arms, and if you notice, this is a very flexible. Uh, plastic and there's two identical ones so you have one for the left one for the right one from front or, or front and rear but uh, that's the B tree then we have the chassis itself this is the tub chassis and this is going to be a little bit different than the standard TT02 variant. Um, most no noticeably is this hole right here that goes all the way through. And this is for the, the SR and the SRX uh, steering assembly. It comes together a little bit differently than the standard TT02. And I'll highlight that when we're building this kit um, and show you the difference. So we have, uh, let's see, we have a set of uh, hubs here, uprights, and this plastic, again, is feels like it's a little bit different from like a standard tree. Um, this feels like it's a little bit heavier plastic. This particular one is the C-hub, and this is a, this is the F as in Frank Tree. And this one looks like it's going to be the rear upright. Uh, and it's going to be the E, E as in Edward Tree. Now here's a small bag of damper parts. Uh, this kit comes with plastic oil filled dampers. Um, it's a little bit unfortunate. I wish it came with aluminum body, um, but it's already expensive enough. I guess the kit would be over three hundred dollars if it did. Um, have some of the more some more parts in aluminum, but it's good to have oil-based uh, dampers regardless. I'm not sure this is a stainless stamp here. This is Q. I would imagine both of them are Q. These are the differential oil differential gears. Uh, let's see if I can find the letter. Let's see. I'm gonna say this is GV. There's GV stamped right here. So sun gear, the shaft, and the double gears. Um, so this is. GV. This is for the for one set, I think. Yeah, this is only for the rear. This kit has a front spool, so this is only for the rear uh, oil filled differential. So that's that. And this is, um, I think, this is going to be part of the. Um, axle, dog bone, um, the way it comes together is a little bit differently. Um, so I look forward to seeing what these are all about, but I think this is part of 
end of a shaft, either propeller shaft or the uh, dog bones at the out drives. Uh, this is Y, and they're going to be both Y trees. These are more components of the dampers. Um, there's uh, four here, uh, one for each damper, of course, and these are the V tree. V is in Victor. Um, you got, we're not going to use these, I don't think. Uh, um, maybe we are. A little bit disappointing that we have to use these to adjust uh, ride height instead of um, uh, a nice set of dampers, but that's what this kit includes. Uh, so these are the pistons. All right, so these are, again, V, v is in Victor, trees, four of them. In this bag, two identical ones. This is the A tree, and we have the uh, wheel nuts with the brake calipers. Looks really good. I'm not very practical, but they look good. Um, so if you can see, you have a pair that is, uh, I, I'm going to say maybe three millimeters, and then you have one that's, let's just say that's five or six millimeters um, hex. So if you wanted a, a wider um, track width in the rear, you, you would usually put this in the rear. Um, you can have the front at three millimeter and then have a wider stance in the back at six millimeters. All right, I see um, these are the rear uh, uprights, but I don't think we're going to be using these. We're also not going to use the uh, damper stays here. I'll show you the ones that come with this kit. So this is the front upright. Probably not going to use that as well. Diff cover. And I see some uh, steering parts right here as well. So this is the A tree, and there's two of them. This is a bag of uh, servo savers, and it's the Q tree. Um, you know, it's just the standard servo saver parts that we're going to use to build. But this, I don't think we're going to use this, this piece either, because I think there's aluminum... Uh, servo saver in the bag later on. This is the D tree, D is in dog. And pretty obvious what's in here, but let's take a look anyway. So you have these are the, this is the motor shroud right here. Um, you have some more servo saver parts. You have the motor mount. This one for 540, 550 motors, and this is for a 380 motor, which uh, I'm not going to use. Um, there's a battery strap down here, holder, and the receiver box. I think this is part of the steering assembly, and you got the wheel hexes here. I'm not going to use these either, I don't think. This is a race car after all. And these are the actual lower arms. So we're gonna be using these um, instead of the ones that we saw in the first tree there. And this is the D parts. And the, this is a different plastic than the others. Um, different from the rubbery plastic, different from the regular plastic. Um, this definitely feels stiffer and um, it's just a different feeling plastic, hard to explain. So these are going to be the front and rear lower arms. And these are the wheels that come with the car. There are no tires, um, but it does come with these standard uh, five spoke wheels. Uh, they look okay. They're not terrific, but they're going to be practical um, to use on, on a racetrack. If you're racing in a Tamiya sanctioned race, you're going to have to use uh, Tamiya wheels anyway. So... It's a, something good to have, and then the tires you can just buy whatever um, the track recommends. 
So this kit is all about tuning, um, being able to adjust parts of the suspension, um, gearing to make the car handle better and perform better. And this is part of that. These are the, I forgot what Tamiya calls them, but these are called the pills and these are part of the suspension mount. Um, there's printed across here and it, and it shows the position of the hole on the other side where the suspend, lower, lower suspension shaft would go into and when you have different positions you can tilt the arms, um, have it toe in, toe out. So that's what this is for and this is the end parts tree. And go ahead and take these out one by one. And this is the A parts tree. This is the A parts bag. So you can see I have the spur gear here. I have the gasket for the uh, oil fill diff. I have the diff oil right here. I see the pinion gear. That's a huge pinion gear. Um, I see some of the out drives. These are the propeller drives right here. Uh, propeller joints. And this is the front spool. So like I said, there's only one uh, oil field diff in this car. The front is actually a solid spool. And this is uh, the spur gear holder. And I see some other blue aluminum bits that look really good. Uh, it comes with ball bearings, which is great. And then I just see some miscellaneous screws and parts. I see some uh, rubber O-rings here. So this is the A parts bag. All right. The B parts bag, it's pretty, It's there's a lot of stuff in here. Let's see if I can figure out what's in this bag. Uh, so we have the actual damper stays. Um, I don't know if these are carbon fiber or just a composite plastic, but this is definitely not the same material as the uh, ones on the plastic trees. Um, I see some turnbuckles here. These are going to be the shafts for the lower suspension arms. Um, I see parts of the universal right here. And let's see what else. I see the aluminum wheel nuts. Uh, I see some ball ends. I see the axles are right here. And this kit uses the same uh, axles and universal um, joints as the XV01. And I built that in a previous series. So it has a capture ring. They call it the axle ring. And um, I don't know if you can see it. There's a ring right there. And that's going to capture the pin um, when it's threaded through the universal to hold the pin in. And it's usually used in other parts of the um, kit as well. Um, we'll see that when we're building the kit. I see a lot of blue aluminum spacers here. It's going to make the car look... Um, really special um, standing there. I see some more uh, ball bearings and that's it. This is the B parts bag. This is the C parts bag. Pretty obvious what we have here. We have the Damper springs. We have some uh, rod ends for the turnbuckles. Um, these two rings are probably going to be for the servo saver. There's three rings here. Um, this darker one and then two of these uh, lighter lighter color ones of brass or metal, whatever it is. Um, I see a couple pins here, probably for the uh, battery holder. And let's see. I see underneath these this bag of blue aluminum parts here. I see the uh, damper shafts uh, right there. There's one. There's another one. And then I see some pins uh, and some miscellaneous screws. 
And I think I see the body pins right here as well. So that is the C parts bag. And these are going to be the front uprights, the front hubs, um, where we saw the uh, C hub. And these are going to be the rest of that. Kind of fell through the bag here, uh, box here, and we didn't see it until now. So this is the C parts tree. All right. And this is parts GB. Obviously, this is going to be the um, diff body, the uh, sun gear and the bevel gear right here. And so that is the GB tree. Let me make sure I didn't leave anything behind. I know there's another one. Yep. And this is for the front spool. Yeah, this is going to be for the front spool. All right. And this bag has the damper oil, a tube of grease, the box wrench that comes with every kit, the Allen wrenches. This is a piece of foam tape and this is double side tape for the electronics and you got some zip ties in here and I see the um, turnbuckle wrench right there as well and here is the beautiful blue anodized aluminum propeller shaft and I think this by itself as a hop up, hop up is nine dollars so it's going to be a good looking kit and of course we have the decals, we have the caution decals, and we have the TTO2 type SRX decal. So this kit doesn't come with the body obviously, and so it doesn't have any livery. All you have are the uh, identification emblems, and that that's a really cool looking uh, decal right there. I look forward to putting those on the car. This is a Disclaimer, uh, Tamiya RC Disclaimer. I probably have 20 of these. Um, I've read through it one time and I've kind of just tossed them aside since then. But it's if it's, this is your first kit, um, it's worth a read. And I also have probably 20 of these uh, antenna tubes that I never use. And of course, there is a instruction manual. Um, I had a quick kind of browse through this kit and I gotta tell you it this is going to be a lot more sophisticated than a standard TTO2 variant and as always I'm going to do I'm going to review the, the manual um, page by page but I'm going to do a separate video to do that um, just like I did for the XVO one so the next video look for look for um, the manual review um, and that's going to be uh, hopefully coming a day after this unboxing video comes out. All right. So I think I got everything in the box. So thanks for watching my Tamiya TTO2 Type SRX unboxing video. Look for the build series uh, coming very soon. Thanks for watching this one. If you want to help my channel, please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.